And round two begins. Either he sideboarded quicker than us or he didn't sideboard at all. Opponent took a little while to get here, but he is here and we have a pretty aggressive hand. We will not be mulligan. I can see us desperate ravings for land, potentially. Ooh. Hopefully he won't have a two drop. Wouldn't that be great? But uh, so far this deck is looking like it's turn one dependent. Getting dealt with. Oh, he's got his own. The full moon might rise tonight. We'll play an assistant here. Open up our civilized scholar next turn. And reckless wave. Poor guy. Doesn't get to swing. Yep. Neonate. Hmm. Looks like he's got the aggressive start. Ah, oh, that son of a bitch. Oh, what do we want to do? I would like to save my Harvest Pyre to kill that. Stitcher's Apprentice. Scholar. I think we might just be eating some damage next turn. Take four. Crack back for five. We can bounce and harvest pyre. Yeah, I think we'll uh, try the Scholar route. Hmm. Yep. We're going to be eating some damage this turn. I mean, we could trade away the assistant. But I don't think it's terrible taking four here. With silent departure and a, a pyre and I don't see the reason to mill We'll get rid of the Delver. Or maybe Stitcher's Apprentice? Hmm. What do we want to do with Stitcher's Apprentice? Yeah, I don't think we'll be playing Delver. Hmm. Yeah, goodbye, Delver. We'll hit him for five. And we'll play an apprentice. And we'll pyre away. I feel like bouncing this would be better. Maybe we'll just hang on to our pyre. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I forgot we milled. So we'll pyre this psalm bitch. Goodbye. 
Take three this next turn. Yeah, I don't mind that. I was not planning on blocking anyhow. I would like to see a land. That'd be lovely. Hmm. This short as a blue is really bumming me out. So I think our plan is to we could bounce, get into, f get in for five. We have to keep two guys back to chump one of them for the neonate. And then we could bounce it next turn. Could ravings. Lots of good things to discard. We're gonna need lands. This shortage of blue is really bumming me out. Cause I would like to bounce this. I want to get in for five though as well. I want to do so much. Yeah, I'm going to try and get in there for five. Probably end up flashbacking that next turn for the neonate. But uh, I think we need to rave here to try and get land. And if we discard a Balefire Dragon, so be it. Probably not going to be able to play it anytime soon. And that worked out well. So I think we'll leave Homunculus' ability open. In case he wants to try some tricks. Rage Thrower. That will be getting bounced. Ooh. We're going to be eating two from it. But we're going to block and sack our guy. It would have been nice to grab a Rage Thrower for ourselves. Nice synergy here. Hmm. Is it in our interest to flash back Desperate Ravens? It is not. We need a bounce and get in. And then if he plays that... I think he would... Do we want to trade? Do you want to? No, I think it's it. It commits him to replaying that for six mana next next, next turn. Then we can chump with a homunculus or a Stitcher's apprentice. We can get in there for seven. He attacks blocks and three gets through if we don't hmm he has to attack so we take four if he plays the rage thrower we let the four through and attack all out yeah he plays the Rage Thrower, we win. I wonder if he sees it.
We get hit for four, go to five. I'd like him to play a spell main phase before combat. That'd be uh, good information, which, yeah, he lost the game. We take four. And win. That was uh, poorly played by him. But lucky for us. Alrighty. So I'll see you for round two. That was a drastic play mistake on his part. Maybe his hand was complete garbage otherwise, but so be it.